In this video, I'm going to show you how to create forms for registrations that look professional. Let's get started. Google Forms is a great tool for creating registration forms for free. Let me show you how. Let me go to Google Forms. Google Forms comes in two variations, one for personal use and one for business. Let me log in to my personal Google account. Here I can see different templates for creating registration forms for different types of events. But let's start from a blank form because I want to show you the entire process of creating a form and the elements that we can put inside a form. We have a blank form and the first thing I would like to do is to give a name to this form. And let's say this is an event for a division, division conference. So let me just type division. Since we are creating a professional form, the first thing we need to assign is a nice banner image for this form. And we do that by clicking on this button called Customize Theme and choosing an appropriate image. The image that you assign must have specific dimensions, otherwise the image will be cropped and it might not look professional. The dimensions of the image must be 800 pixels wide by 200 pixels height or its multiples. For example, if you want a high resolution image, Create an image that is 2400 pixels wide and 600 pixels in height. Ensure that your banner image has key information about the event and the logo and other design elements. Let me choose an image that I have already created for this event. I click on the choose image and I will choose the upload option. Click on the browse button and this is the image which is on my desktop. I'll click on it and open. As you can notice, there is no need to do any cropping for this image because the dimensions of the image are as per the requirements of this form. All I need to do now is click on the done button. And an interesting thing happens here, the theme colors automatically adjust to match the banner. I can change the theme color and the background to suit the banner. Next, let us give some description for the event. If you are collecting email addresses, the best way to do that is to go to the settings here and click the collect email addresses option. And the reason to do that is Google Forms will automatically put all the necessary validations related to email addresses. So let me click on the save button and you can see that it has already added the field email addresses as the first field in this form. Next, let us define a field to capture the name of the attendee. Notice that currently the choice here is multiple choice. Google form uses a very smart algorithm to detect what kind of input to be captured based on the question. So as I type the question, it will change the type of input to be captured. So let me enter, for example, please enter your name. Notice it has changed to short answer from multiple choice. If I want to ensure that every form has a name, enable the required option, which makes this field a mandatory field. Let's add another field to our form. And to do that, I click on the plus option here. I want to capture whether the person who's attending the event is a Toastmaster or not. So it's a yes or no type of question. I start by phrasing my question. Are you a Toastmaster? And notice how the Google Forms has automatically detected that this is multiple choice. And the possible values could be yes, no, maybe. And it's up to me to choose or to type my own choices. Since the question will be answered as yes or no, I can easily select yes, no. So there are no other options for this question. And to make it mandatory, again, I will click on the required and enable it. Next, we'll choose a field where the person has to select from a list. 
to add the field we once again will click on the plus option let's say we want the person to choose the type of seating and let's say we have three choices available so let me type the question choose the seating preference and let's say we have three choices and this time i will type them let's say vip and premium and standard and again let me make it a mandatory field the next field i will add is where the attendee can choose from multiple choices and for that i will use a checkbox so let me start by clicking on the plus sign and let's see the question is which contests you will attend so the question i will pose is choose the contests you wish to attend and instead of multiple choice i will use check boxes and let's say i give him four choices international speech humorous table topics let's say and evaluation in this case the person filling the form can choose one two or more the last thing that i will add to this form is a link to a youtube video so that the person filling up the form can see what he's going to get let's assume we have uploaded a teaser trailer for this event on our youtube channel let's say this is the teaser i select the link and come to my form and choose add video when i click on add video it will ask me to type in the link to the youtube video so i will simply click control v and click on find and it brings me this same video i select it and i will place it in my form and give it a suitable title preview of a division contest and the form is done if you wish you can add more fields you can remove questions if i don't want this question for example all i have to do is click on this button to delete it to share this form click on the send button and you can share this link via email or simply extract the link by clicking on the link button and it will give you a link to this form if you want to make the link short and easy to manage click on the shorten url option and click copy you can now take this link and post it on whatsapp on facebook instagram wherever you want before we share the form we must test it to make sure it performs as we have designed it and to do that you click on the preview button here and it will open up the form as the person filling it up will see it so we had first defined email address so let me type an email address here the asterisk indicates that it's a mandatory field so if i leave it and try to go to the next field i will get an error saying this is a required question so let me fill in my name the next question was a choice yes or no let me click yes the next question was a choice from a list so let me select premium the final question was where i could make multiple choices so let me say i'm interested in all four i could select like this if i did not want humorous i could just untick it to see the preview i can click on this button and it will play the youtube video and when i'm satisfied i click on the submit button once the form is shared and people start filling up the form you can come to the responses tab to check how many responses are there you can also export all the responses into a google sheets by linking this form to a google sheet and you do that by clicking on the create spreadsheet option so when i click on it it will ask me do you want to put the data in an existing spreadsheet or do you want to create a new spreadsheet so let's say i will create a new spreadsheet with the same name as my title of the form 
and I say create. So as the responses start coming in, they will start getting filled up in this Excel sheet, which is easier to manage if you want to send out a mail to all the attendees. You could take the list from here and put it in a mail merging program and send out reminders to the participants. So there you have it, professional forms to collect registration data for your next event.